Hey guys, it's JC from the Fernandez Farm and today I wanted to take y'all into the garden and give a little garden update. It is the end of May and so everything is really starting to come along. Everything's growing and starting to bloom. So I wanted to do a little update and show y'all everything that's growing in my garden. So these are cucumbers. I've got several different kinds growing right now. They're getting really big. A couple of them are starting to put on fruit, which is always really exciting because fresh, garden fresh cucumbers are one of my most favorite things to eat out of the garden. I'll just dip some in ranch. I love, love, love garden fresh cucumbers. And they're kind of like tomatoes to me. You, they just don't taste the same from the grocery store as they do out of your own garden. So every year I really look forward to that. And then these are bush beans, bush green beans. And uh, the germination rate for these bush beans were not that great. So I ended up planting okra in between the spots that didn't germinate. And it worked out because we really don't eat that much okra. Here's some okra right here. We don't eat a whole lot of okra, so I didn't really feel like I needed to dedicate a whole row to it. And I have a ton of pole beans anyway, so I didn't need a whole bunch of bush beans. I've just never planted bush beans before, so I was pretty excited about that. These are bell peppers. This is the plant that I bought, and so this, this guy's already flowering. And uh, all of mine from seed, they've got a bunch of little buds on them, but this one was a bigger plant when I bought it. It was one of the first things I put in the garden, and it's now flowering. So that's looking really pretty. Hopefully, I've never really had luck with bell peppers. If I get them, they're pretty small. So I'm really babying these guys this year and hopefully we get some good bell peppers because we eat a lot. So yeah, these are the ones I planted by seed and they're looking good. I also had a bunch of little tiny baby transplants from a couple of days ago that I just put in the ground. This is my cayenne pepper. <clears throat> One of the chickens bit that off. I accidentally left the gate open. <laughs> and I guess what they got, they got what they came for because they probably had spicy mouth after they bit that cayenne pepper. <laughs> but there's a lot of little baby peppers on here. Sorry for the wind, y'all. <laughs> Here's some more bell peppers, little bitty bell pepper transplants. So hopefully we'll have a good bell pepper year. This is zucchini and squash. I've got both of them like planted in, in between each other. <clears throat> Just planted randomly. But we love, love, love summer squash. So I have like several rows dedicated to it. In this garden there's just one and then I've got like random squash planted throughout the garden too. Yeah, these guys are getting pretty big. We're starting to get some blooms on them. Getting pretty big. As you'll see whenever I take you to my other garden, I've already got a couple of little squash on those. But these guys are just kind of getting blooms. So those are cucumbers. Look at that tomato. <laughs> I'm so excited. I've had a couple of cherry tomatoes that I've picked off too. I've had like three this whole season so far, but they were delicious. So <laughs> there are a bunch of little tomato plants that I started from seed in that little pot. Some more tomato transplants. When the chickens got in here that one time on accident, they picked all of my tomato plants so I had to kind of start over. These snap peas are dying but um, I've, or snow peas but I've got a couple more that are coming on. I ate a couple the other day they still taste good despite it being kind of hot so they're coming along. These are probably gonna die off pretty soon you can tell by the bottoms but I might get one more harvest off of them before they do. Here is the sweetie cherry tomato plant. Uh, this is the one I was pulling ripe ones off of. 
it's getting pretty big. It's like way bigger compared to the rest of mine. But yeah, we've got a ton of green ones on here too. Uh, I did not prune these suckers. I did all my other ones, but I forgot to do this one somehow. And so I've got like so many different stalks coming. And so I've got tons and tons of different fruit setting, which is fine, except it's all taking forever to get right. <laughs> But it's looking really pretty. I've got another tomato plant right here. And uh, these are my pole green beans. So they're going to climb up this fence. And I've got quite a few green beans on these. A lot of small ones. I've harvested a couple of handfuls at a time so far. But when these guys really take off and start climbing, we're going to have tons of green beans. Which is so exciting because that's one of the things I really look forward to too <clears throat> during the garden season is green beans, fresh green beans. So yeah, they're getting pretty big and they're starting to climb. Look at all those wildflowers back there. They're so pretty. I try to leave all the wildflowers in my garden unless it's directly in the way of my crops, I just leave my wildflowers because the honeybees love it. <clears throat> well, pollinators in general. <laughs> There's some more green beans. Getting pretty big. I've got them planted all down the fence line. So, I actually think I need to plant more because <laughs> I would like to be able to put some up this winter. So here is a row of my corn. These guys just got planted not too long ago. So they're all kind of small. But that's okay because nobody needs like a hundred ears of corn at one time. <laughs> these guys are getting really big. I'm pretty excited about these because they've already got little teeny tiny ears of corn coming up. It's always fun to see the little ears and the little tassels come up. Especially because up until this year, my garden has never had a fence around it. So my chickens always eat my corn before it even gets a chance to come up. They just eat the teeny tiny little plant. There's another ear of corn. I've got some uh, black beans planted in between these two. And sugar baby watermelon. I planted two different varieties this year of watermelon. I planted sugar babies and I planted the moon and stars variety. So that's exciting. These are some random squash that I was telling you all about. <laughs> I just had some empty spots in my garden so I put squash in. Strawberries have a little bit of new growth on them. I've got several, all of my strawberry starters that I transplanted early, they're starting to fill out and get big. This big strawberry plant, uh, that's been there since last year. And so it started producing pretty early for me this year. There's a ripe one, it looks like a critter got to. <laughs> We've got a couple more blooms and stuff too. These are ever-bearing varieties, so they never, well, I don't have that many plants, so they never really put on a whole lot of fruit at once, but they will put on throughout the growing season, which I like because I like coming out and seeing my baby go strawberries. So she gets really excited about that. <laughs> and there's another wildflower. These are so pretty. They're in the sunflower family. They're called brown-eyed Susans. It hadn't completely flowered out yet, but they're really pretty. A sunflower is in the back corner over there. Carrots. Some random squash starting to bloom. And uh, this kale. Oh, this is the lettuce. I let this lettuce flower because... I've never let it go to seed before, but I'm really excited to try it. And then this kale was so good to me this year, and it's like getting devoured by something, which it was already bolting anyway. It started flowering, and now it's like getting eaten. But 
It started getting bitter anyway, so it had a good run. But we'll enjoy it next year. <laughs> There's some potatoes. Most of my potatoes are in my other garden. I'm letting this butter crunch lettuce go to seed too, so it's all bolting and uh, letting it flower. So these are all kind of experiments this year. I've only let a handful of things actually go to seed since I've been gardening. So I'm curious to see how that goes. Oh, and whenever the chickens got in here, they ate my kale, but it'll come back. <laughs> Here's some bush beans. I planted a couple more over here just because I had an empty spot. And to me, you can never have too many green beans. <laughs> so yeah, this is the main garden. This is the only garden that we have fenced that the chickens can't get into. My other garden is tucked back in a little corner of the property and so the chickens don't really mess with it. So I'll show y'all when we get over there. The corn is already big and they're not going to mess with it over there. So luckily I was kind of worried about it this year. But this is my main garden and so it's super pretty. This is my grapevine that I did not think was going to fruit this year. I got it from a big box store for half off. It was originally $24. I got it for $12. It was huge already. It already had set fruit. But they were really small. I just knew the transplant shock was just going to make all the fruit fall off, and it didn't. <laughs> the fruit has just gotten bigger, and some of it's starting to turn purple. So I think we very well might have grapes this year. Which is going to be really exciting because I've never grown my own grapes before. Yeah, they're getting really big. Now we'll walk over to my other garden and I'll show you all that. Here's some pretty wildflowers. <laughs> I'll walk y'all into my other garden. This one's starting to really take off too. Um, we've got asparagus right here. It's kind of hard to tell because it's so thin. It's a two year root, but this is the first year I planted it. So it's coming along. We probably won't eat any of it this year. We'll wait till next year, but it's coming along and looking really good. I really like asparagus plants whenever they get bigger. They're really pretty and huge. They get huge. So that's just its own little dedicated asparagus patch. <laughs> I've got tomatoes right here. I planted several different varieties of tomatoes this year. I did um, brandywine tomatoes. I did yellow pear tomatoes and uh, Sweetie Cherry and Romas. I did a ton of Romas. Because my goal this year is to be able to actually put some back for marinara sauce or just canned tomatoes. This is a zucchini. And uh, I just planted corn anywhere that something was gonna crawl. This is a cucumber. So I planted corn all throughout where I was gonna have Ugh, things that crawl. So where my cucumbers or squash are, I just went ahead and sowed some corn because we could always put that up for the winter too. Look at these massive cucumber plants. They're getting huge. They're already, and I moved them like three times a day. <laughs> I really don't want them to trample over my potatoes over there. But these guys are already blooming, but they're also setting fruit, and the fruit is getting really big on it. I'm excited. They're just really big and pretty. I love the foliage on it. They're so lush. So, see these little cucumbers are getting pretty big. I 
I'm excited for fresh cucumbers this year, for sure. Bunch of little babies, tons of blooms. Same on this plant, there's tons and tons of blooms. There's a baby. And this one isn't near as big as the other ones, but it's still getting big and I think there's a couple of buds on it. These are my potatoes. I actually pulled up a huge, huge, um, well, huge for me, red potato harvest. And then I'm leaving these in the ground. But um, these little potato, I let these go I let these go to seed so they bloomed and now they've got these little cherry tomato like pods on them and uh, please correct me if I'm wrong but I'm pretty sure these are seed pods I actually haven't looked into it but I'm pretty sure because that is where the blooms were so I'm assuming it bloomed and then now it's going to seed but let me know in the comments if y'all have any knowledge about that because I don't but here's another potato plant. I actually pulled that up a while ago and it's already coming back. This is my corn. And I've got like cucumbers and squash planted in between it too. Ah, oh, these are my mammoth sunflowers. And they are getting so big and all of them have buds on them so they're like about to bloom. Just small little heads, but one of them is getting really big. And I love the backdrop because there's so many wildflowers back behind it that whenever they are in bloom, oh my gosh, it's just going to be so pretty. But they're getting so big that I already had to stake some of them. So this is the one that is going to bloom first. It's getting huge. I'm so excited about these. I've never had, like, I've always grown mammoth sunflowers, but I've never grown them well enough for them to give me seeds. They've always bloomed and then died. So that's my goal this year. This is a squash plant, and these have little baby squash on them already. I planted random bell peppers all over the place, too. Anywhere that I had an empty spot, I just planted tomatoes and bell peppers, and that's corn too. Squash, little squash. I try so hard every year to have like my rows in a little cookie cutter fashion, and I end up just sowing things in random spots where towards the end of the season, nothing is cookie cutter anymore. It's just all random. But I have been reading a lot about permaculture, so that's not necessarily a bad thing. <laughs> Look at all these wildflowers. It's just so pretty back in this garden. This is my corn that I originally planted. Okay, so this corn is actually getting big, and I planted pinto beans in between these. And these beans are starting to uh, have fruit on them too right here. So I have a ton of pinto beans planted in between the corn. And this corn's getting tassels on it too. And I don't know if y'all can tell or not, but I mulch my garden with like cut up leaves and grass clippings because it decomposes so fast, but it also, so it gives nutrients back quickly but it also keeps water retention in your garden. I just prefer to use grass clippings and leaves. So here's some more bell peppers. I just planted them randomly. I had a couple of corn, couple corn seeds that didn't germinate there, so I just put bell peppers in. Tomatoes. I planted several tomatoes right here too. These are some transplants. These are all pretty small. And then I planted some Four Seasons um, lettuce right here. 
because you can't have all of these yummy salad fixings and no lettuce. And in Texas, it gets so hot that you have to plant like a heat tolerant variety. So I just did four seasons. I've had a lot of luck with it in the past, so that's just what I planted this year. Here's another random bell pepper. <laughs> And uh, some watermelon. I've got another watermelon right here. Looking pretty good. It's not quite hot enough yet and it's not really taken off. We're kind of having a weird summer in Texas. <laughs> These are tomato plants and they're getting pretty big too. And um, I've got radishes and carrots planted here. They're actually kind of in the shade, kind of not. So they'll have like a little bit of sun. I've never planted radishes before. But I had a cherry bell. It's a 30-day variety heirloom. Seeds that came in a big pack that I bought probably two years ago. And so I just thought I'd give it a shot. And I got them in late. So they may or may not produce before they bolt. But we'll see. But these are the carrots planted in between that. <clears throat> Here I've got some more watermelon and some squash. I just had an empty spot so I planted some more. And this is my other garden so this one is starting to come along too. I didn't get this stuff in until a little later in the spring but it's all looking really pretty and getting big. And uh, I'm excited. So, thank you all so much for watching, and I hope you'll have a great day.